Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a vlog. I thought I would vlog this weekend because, as you can tell, I'm in a garden, which is lovely. This is my mum and stepdad's garden, so I'm back home in Durham. I just came for a really quick break because obviously I haven't seen them for quite some time now. I feel like time in London's gone so quick. It's been like five months so with everything that's gone on with COVID and everything the restrictions are lifted so I'm in the garden which is lovely. The shed behind me is where I've been sleeping because I'm not allowed indoors to sleep overnight yet so it's still social distancing and all that good stuff so I'm in the garden. This has been my humble abode. Um, we don't have a huge family home by any means so this was built God, years ago. This is where my brother used to live before he moved out and this is where I've been sleeping. It's quite chilly <laughs> but it's been lovely. The sun is shining. It's a gorgeous. Can you hear the birds? As much as I love London, I am so ready to move and just enjoy some time away from the city and just the busyness because this oh, calms me so much. But um, yeah, we're having a lovely day. Today is a Sunday. We've had some really nice quality family time, but we're actually going to go to a huge charity shop warehouse this morning, which sounds brilliant um it's in teesside which is literally 15 minutes from durham which is fantastic so we're gonna go have a look apparently they've got so much it's a firm favorite actually my mum and my nanny used to go it's been open for that long so um, we're gonna have a little look around we're gonna go for a little coffee this morning like an outdoor garden and um, my friend charlotte works there so we're gonna go and see her and um, sit outdoors in the little garden area i'll show you all but yeah i hope you're doing really well i just thought it'd be nice to vlog this because i'm so grateful to be able to come home so yeah hope you're all doing well and let's come along for the journey. Every day was filled with fear. We've come to the coffee shop. It's so nice, it's obviously like outdoors, which is brilliant, I'll show you what we've got. I've gone for a little coffee, and mum and Bill have gone for some coffees, and this is a fruit scone, and this one, oh my God, let me show you this one. Oh, cheese and this chutney. is cheese and caramelized. caramelized onion chutney scone, which looks lovely. So they're gonna dig into them, and I'm some the coffee. We went for an Indian last night. What was it called? Amari. Amani? Anyone in the northeast, it's an Indian called Amani's in Durham. I'll leave a link down below. It's, it's lovely. It's sitting right next door to this coffee shop, which is brilliant. So I'm, yeah, we went there, which is really nice. I'm still very full, hence why I'm not having a scone. So Mum's making us try the cheese scone because apparently it's really good. You need another brushes. Am I scone? Oh. Mm. Oh, that is tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. My friend Charlotte works here, so she made the scones this morning. Well done. Mm. Aren't they yeah. delicious? So we've all finished up in the coffee shop. That was so nice. I actually got to see Charlotte as well, which was so lovely. Those scones, oh my god, amazing. I'm now at a um, local garden centre we always used to come to, actually. It's huge, just behind us, because we need a little shrub for our balcony. Um, because one of them's not really doing very well. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> my mum's coming to make a feature. <laughs> um, it's just nice to be able to do this when the weather's still lovely. So we're gonna have a look in and get some bits. Oh, these are nice. They stop at these are so much cheaper than London. Three pounds for one of these. What? We paid like ten. Man, we paid we paid ten pounds for one of these in London, and this is this is three. Look. These are so good, seven pounds, and you get a whole mix of different herbs as a little starter. Look at that, Isn't that brilliant. Just carry it away. Mm -hmm. You can get little cauliflower trees. These are Brussels sprout plants. I am in my element here, this is amazing. Mum's just found some pumpkin plants. One pound 40. Right, when we get a garden, I'm gonna plant some pumpkins. Right, we're gonna go for a Cordyline Australis. I've learned from my past mistakes and I just Googled the growing conditions and apparently it likes shaded areas and it can survive in urban areas and a winter. So, this one's coming home with us. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in my car, but I'll make it work. Now we're off to the massive charity warehouse, so I'll film bits and bobs when I'm there because I feel like there's gonna be some treasure. So we're inside and I've already spotted these chairs, which are gorgeous. They're so nice. 30 pounds each. Wow. Hard with you. There is nothing else to do. Mum is a woman after my own heart. She spotted this hurricane jar for one pound. No, you have it, don't worry. No, I don't want it. I want to buy it. Okay. <laughs> and as dangerous as it is, we could. This is heaven. 
I swear, when we get our house, it's just going to be full of old pieces of furniture like this because they're just amazing. This whole thing is £90. It's ridiculous. It's so much cheaper than London. It's even got its own keys in it as well. How amazing is that? Wow. That is so nice. Look at these old lights as well. How amazing is that? Wow. All the old mirrors. I would like to have it back It's broken and far from intact That is so cool, look at that! 40 pounds wow. It's got a little place yeah. for your hats <laughs> That is incredible Mum's just spotted this sofa, if you've got that reupholstered it's 60 pounds Incredible, look at, the, look at the feet on it It's brilliant I'm gonna have a little look through all of the bric-a-brac now and see if there's anything that's gonna catch my eye. I can already see a few things. Go on, Mum, this is a throwback. Look at these. It's Diana and Charles. Yeah. They're nice, could use those little tea light holders. Yeah. This whole green set is 20 pounds. And as dangerous as it is, So we're all done in the charity shop and oh, bless my mum, she accidentally broke that hurricane jar just as she was paying for it. She lifted it up onto the countertop and it slipped and it cracked, So, but she paid for it so she still gave them the money and but we just left it behind because it shattered. So bless her, she feels so bad, she's like I'm so sorry, don't worry, it's fine. They're just in B&Q grabbing some, um, some paint because they've been DIYing our front doors, they're spraying them which is very savvy, saves on buying doors, I'm all about that. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the bits and bobs, maybe when I'm back in London actually because I've got quite a few bits over the weekend so um, if the weather allows actually we're going to go and see if we can get some chips at the beach because obviously we don't have a beach in London um, so yeah fingers crossed we can go and get some chips and sit by the sea but the weather isn't looking so great let me show you it's currently starting to rain so fingers crossed this stops otherwise chips won't be happening this just reminds me of my childhood so much so we came for some chips and fish hot curry sauce and we're eating it by the sea I mean genuinely this was my happy place as a child the beach is gorgeous Oh, having the time of my life. So we've come for a little um, afternoon, evening stroll. We just made a Sunday roast. I didn't vlog it because I was far too busy making it. All we've actually done is eat. And I mean, to some extent, that's actually very true. <laughs> um, but we're now just walking Ivy with this fantastic contraption. Let me show you. Mum's got it. So it prevents you actually needing to pick up the slavery ball. And she just truly loves it. Oh, I mean, if you actually managed to get it through the trees. <laughs> That always helps. Come on, Ivy. Come here, little one. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, this is um, Ivy, fully grown lab now. She used to be a tiny pup. I've missed out on all of her puppy years, but um, look at her now. <laughs> Go on. She's got some speed for a Labrador. Come on, pup. Oh, woo. <laughs> She's like Tigger. Go on, girl. <laughs> there it is. Come on everyone. So today is Monday. It's bank holiday Monday. I've got Ivy here. Look at the little pup. Good morning. We've just been for a lovely walk and the weather's actually been really good. It was supposed to be raining which would have been disastrous but it's been very very nice. We went for a gorgeous walk this morning. I honestly haven't been on my phone on any social media. It's just been so lovely. Just completely unwind and obviously this is my family home I grew up in for 18, 19 years so this is really nice we spoke to the neighbours this morning just obviously in the, in the street it's just been lovely it's been so nice having some breakfast al fresco I'm having some some berries and some yogurt with some alpen and I'm going to say my fond farewells to this little pooch look at her oh I'm going to miss you so much doggo I'm going to miss you so much genuinely this dog is my life she's only um how old are you? <laughs> I put on my mask and I respond. She's like two, maybe coming up to two in, um, yeah, she'll be two in October. What are you? And she's lovely. I love it a bit. I'm going to miss you so much, lovely. I'm going to miss you. I can't wait for the day that we get a dog because I can bring her home because you'll love her. Or him. He or her. <laughs> right, I'm going to have my breakfast and then I um, need to think about loading up my car and driving back to London, which is, which is, um, always sad. 
I'm also going to go say goodbye to my little niece. She was actually born in lockdown, so I'm, yeah, she's so young. She's like six weeks old. Um, obviously, she's been really emotional throughout the whole start of the year. There's been so much that I haven't been able to see or do because of obviously lockdown and being in London all my family's in the north so it's just been so lovely so yeah she's she was born in March and she's so small and tiny but I'm so grateful to be able to see her so um yeah we're gonna go and see her say a fond farewell it's gonna be emotional I can tell thought I'd just quickly show you some photographs as well um my mum was doing a bit of a clear out over lockdown and she found some old photographs I never really spoke about this a lot I think I maybe did once in a video, but um, my dad sadly passed away when I was really young. I was only two, so um, she's given me this photo to keep a hold of. So this was my dad, this is him here, this was James, and this is my brother, and then this is me, this is baby Luke. Tiny little Luke, which I just thought is such a lovely photo. So um, yeah, I think that's why family means so much to me, because we're such a small family. So yeah, really lovely to keep a hold of that. Look how tiny I was. And then the second photo um, was my mum on her wedding day. That's my auntie and my uncle. So yeah, my mum was a looker. She still is, she's lovely, but love these photos. And I'm back. Woo! That was a drive and a half. Sorry, that I feel like this vlog's been really disjointed, but it's just been lovely to just have some time kind of like off, like online and that kind of thing. But I've vlogged bits and bobs. I hope it's been somewhat of a cohesive video. If you can hear that, that's the rain. It rained the whole drive home. I drove obviously from Durham to London and it takes roughly around five hours, five and a half sometimes. Um, I didn't stop, I just drove the whole way. It's fairly easy, like driving in London, I'm pretty much used to it now, but it just rained constantly, which made it so difficult. My eyes are like so sore. So I'm literally just gonna unpack all of the goodies. I'm actually gonna film the haul because I have got some lovely bits and bobs from like the charity shop and we did a bit of shopping when I was with my mum um, and she gave me some lovely bits and bobs so I'm going to pop that in a video so that'll be coming on Sunday so keep your eye out for that but um, yeah I'm just going to unpack everything and have a cup of tea <laughs> the time is like it's still quite light which is lovely it's just gone 20 past 7 so I'm going to pop my feet up once I've unpacked and maybe have a glass of wine <laughs> So I'm officially unpacked. I've just poured myself a moderate glass of red wine and I also have a whopping great big slice of quiche that my stepdad's sister made. She's a fantastic baker and quiches are her speciality. So I put a request in, very cheeky I know, but she made me a cheese and onion and tomato quiche with chive and oh, I had a piece in the car on the way driving home and it was delicious. Also worth noting, Zara actually isn't here. She stayed in her family home for one extra night and she's gonna drive up super early in the morning. She's really wanted to make the most of the time because she's got younger siblings and she just really wants to make the most of all of these days that she can. So she's staying there this evening and will be arriving super early in the morning to start work. So yeah, that's why she's not here. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Sorry, it might have been really brief and quick, but um, yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed it and you've managed to hopefully have some family time this year. Um, if you haven't, hopefully it'll be very soon. I'm sending so much love to you all and keep your eye out for Sunday video, Sunday's video, sorry, because that'll be a haul of all of the goodies that I picked up while I was at home. So yeah, lots of love to you all. Take care. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you can. Click subscribe and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.